ancient and mysterious ritual of choosing a new pope is growing near. This city and the world's 1.2 billion Catholics holding their breath, waiting. You are looking at the Vatican Live lit up against the night, and behind its walls, the preparations for Tuesday's conclave are nearly complete. But on this day of worship, the cardinals visited churches across the city, saying mass greeted like celebrities. One of them will be the next pope. And so we go to ABC's David Wright, reporting from the Vatican on a rainy Sunday night. David? Good evening, Amy. It was fascinating to watch today as the cardinals fanned out across Rome to celebrate mass at churches that are permanently assigned to them. They're sort of the honorary pastors. But what was fascinating was the contrast of styles. On one day in one city, a chance to compare the candidates. Outside Our Lady of Guadalupe, Cardinal Timothy Dolan worked the crowd like he was running for mayor of the Vatican. When I'm here, I feel like I'm home, he said in his New York Italian. There's a great crowd here. Let's do two collections. We do it in New York. So. Yeah. <laughs> Contrast that with the far more reserved scene at St. Andrew's at the Quirinal, the Roman home of Brazil's Cardinal Odilo Scherer. His archdiocese, Brazil's capital, has more Roman Catholics than the entire population of New York City. He's said to have strong backing from the Vatican political machine, too. Over at the Church of the Twelve Holy Apostles, Cardinal Angelo Scola of Milan. He's positioning himself as the Italian outsider, the son of a truck driver. Today's Italian newspapers claimed he goes into the conclave with 40 votes of the 77 needed to become pope. At Our Lady of Victory, Cardinal Sean O'Malley didn't wear his usual monk's robes and flip-flops. He was stately in his Sunday best. Let us pray that the Holy Spirit illumine the church to choose a new pope. Officially, no one runs for pope, but supporters can get carried away. Case in point, a music video put out today by fans of Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle of Manila. He's a righteous man. A catchy tune for sure, but slightly jarring in the context of electing a pope. Still, Tagle's youth, energy, and ability to inspire are what some say the church badly needs. It has been too Roman focused, perhaps too European, too Western. South African Cardinal Wilfred Napier, a potential pope himself, has several names in his mind going in. I'm looking for somebody, I think, that would uh, in some way reflect a um, a, a vibrancy of the faith, that the faith is alive and it's uh, people want to belong. They are not just doing it grudgingly and so on. It's just our tradition, so we'll do it. Less than 48 hours from now, the Cardinals will have taken their first vote, but that first vote will likely be black smoke.